بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما نؤمن له بالربوبية ونقر له بالعبودية من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين والخلص من أصحابه المنتجبين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا قيل لهم وإذا قيل لهم اتبعوا ما أنزل الله قالوا بل نتبع ما وجدنا عليه آباءنا أولو كان الشيطان يدعوهم إلى عذاب السعير صدق الله العلي العظيم One of the most important principles of Islam is the promotion and the maintenance of reason and mind to respect reason to incorporate reason in our daily life decisions in our daily life relations in our daily life findings and discoveries Reason plays a major role in religion and also in the human life and occupies a very important, very important position. The most important. أول ما خلق الله سبحانه وتعالى العقل According to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم the first thing that has been created the first item that has been created in this universe was reason and aql because it is precious because without reason our life is reduced to the life of animals and cattle bahain therefore the holy quran is splintered with invitations to use our minds and the Holy Quran always praises those who use their mind. And because reason is important, taqlid and emulation is forbidden when it comes to the principles and foundations of religion. What does that mean? The foundations of religion are tawheed. One of them is monotheism, and this is the most important foundation. Tawheedullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The belief in monotheism. The belief in the integrity of God. God is different from humans. God has different characteristics and attributes. لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ God has no similarity God has no physical being this conclusion we have to reach to this conclusion without emulation what does that mean it means it's okay for your parents to teach you this to guide you to this principle to encourage you to understanding 
to understand it, to make it easy for you to understand it. But then, once you understand this, you cannot go and say, I believe in monotheism because my father and my mother believe in it. I'm following my parents. No, you can't say that. Yes, my parents had taught me this, encouraged me to learn this, to embrace monotheism, to embrace Nubuwa, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. To believe, to believe in the hereafter, in the Akhirah. They taught me, they encouraged me, they made it easy for me to understand. But then you cannot continue believing in that because your father said so, or your mother or your friend. You have to have your own sovereignty in this, your own independence. After that you say, I believe in Tawheed because it makes sense, not just because my father told me so. Now, yes, my father told me so in the beginning, but now I embrace this concept and this idea. I embrace it wholeheartedly. This is the meaning that we cannot do taqlid, emulation, or imitation of others in this. You have to be independent. Once you understand it, then you sign a contract, you yourself, with your own conviction, with your own understanding, Therefore, we have to discover life, my friends, is a, a journey of learning every day, every single sunrise and every single morning is an opportunity for us to learn, to discover new realities in this universe. This is the journey of this life. Discoveries does not end by the age of 20 or by the age of 30 or by the age of 70. This is a continuous journey in this life. And you have to choose. Your parents cannot choose for yourself, my friends. Your parents can teach you, but they can't choose for you. The parents cannot choose for us our path. They can guide us, they can teach us, they can educate us, but then after that the choice is ours. Therefore, it's not enough. This is exactly what the Holy Quran says in Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse 28. The Holy Quran says, Come and follow and listen to what God has sent to you their answer, the pagans, the polytheists, the mushrikeen of Mecca, the polytheists, the Meccans, they would respond, They say, we follow that which we found our fathers or our forefathers following. We are satisfied with that. What does that mean? It means that this is a blind emulation. التقليد الأعمى وهو لا يجوز التقليد الأعمى لا يجوز We are following, blindly following what our fathers have been following. So we are satisfied with that. We do not want to use our brain. We do not want to use our reason here. And this is the case, my friends, to be honest with you, this is the case with many people in the community. Muslims and non-Muslims. They are born into a family, into certain culture, certain tradition, certain religious orientation, and they stick with that for the rest of their life. They take that for granted. How many among Muslims and non-Muslims today say to himself and herself, wait a minute, I've been born in this family, it's true. I come from these parents. But then who says this is the right path? Shouldn't I do the discovery myself? Shouldn't I go and investigate? Today we investigate everything. Everything in America, when you want to do it, when you want to buy a house, a car, health insurance, this and that, 
you investigate why when it comes to religion we do not give ourselves a chance to investigate to find out why we take religion for granted we have to incorporate our mind we have to give ourselves a chance to go and dig deep into the foundations of our belief and try to do new discoveries believe me you would never enjoy religion unless you make the discoveries yourself yourself but if someone else is doing the homework for you there is no enjoyment do you see some parents who do the homework for their kids do you think that child is going to progress in the school to move forward he's not going to learn anything his parents are doing the work for him we have to do the discovery we have to read we have to investigate we have to challenge our doctrines does not necessarily mean we are wrong no we could be right but even this right has to be investigated again and it has to be questioned and we have to continue reading the blind emulation is unacceptable it leads into what in most cases when you follow something blindly it leads into ta'assur narrow-mindedness and big-headedness in most cases because he doesn't understand he does not read he only listens to someone or something and then he follows it blindly without incorporating his aql, his understanding. So it leads into narrow-mindedness. When we shut the brain, we shut the brain, the brain becomes inactive. That is the main reason for ta'assub. That is the main reason for hate. People start suspecting about each other, hating each other. Because they shut the brain, they don't read, they don't compare. Just because someone said something somewhere, we take it for granted, we believe in it, and we follow it, and we act upon that. And this is the problem of the Muslim society today. Today, in Muslim countries as well as non-Muslim countries. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites us to use our brain, to incorporate our brain not just in religion in every aspect of our life my friend religion and aql and reason play plays a role rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam he states innama yudraku al khayr kulluhu bil aql wa la deena liman la aql lah it's only and only through reason, we can obtain and attain goodness in this life. Yudrakul khayru kullu. The entirety of wholesomeness and goodness is only obtained and attained by aql, by reason. Someone who does not use his brain, that person does not have deen, does not have religion. Him and the one who worships the idol are the same. Because the one who worship, worships the idol does not use his brain. If he uses his brain for five minutes, he would not worship the idol. And the Holy Quran says about those who received damnation, If we have given ourselves a chance, to use reason, na'qil. We would not have been today part of the people of damnation and hellfire. But because we, God has given us this opportunity and this gift, we did not use it. So, in conclusion, we should not depend on the tradition of the family. The tradition of family is respected as long as it has no conflict with God and always we have to investigate my friends we have to ask if we don't ask we don't learn if we don't investigate we would stay idle 
where we are, we don't move forward. It is only through the journey of research, the journey of asking, the journey of discoveries that, that we can reach to the ultimate truth, to the ultimate reality. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْحَقِّ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين